Hey guys, welcome back. Apologies, I've been a little bit AFK these past few days and pretty much this whole month, as you guys know. I did my Revenge of the King gameplays, you know, all last week, kind of took a break. I've been logging in every now and then to do some missions, but as you guys can tell, I'm very, very far behind. Haven't really done much of anything. Uh, just today, we're going to finish off chapter three, finish off all the master, just have one more path to go down and then at the end, we'll jump in here for the objectives. We'll collect that one for fully exploring all of Master, and then we'll open up those crystals. And this month, with Kabam being, you know, generous enough to give us that final objective, I there's really not much else to push for, except for if you want, you know, these five-star bot crystal shards and maybe another five-star awakening program. You know, you can go for that, but me, it's like, nah. <laughs> you know, it's not really... It's not really worth it for me this month, uh, but you know, next month we only have a few more days. So sorry, not next month, next week. We should be getting some information for what's going to happen in November. And yeah, we'll see. Let's go ahead and run down that final path, guys. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Revenge of the King and uh, you know my experiences with some of some of the fights. But let's go ahead and uh, get started, I guess. Uh, this one, I only have this hard path to go down. I don't even know what this is, honestly. I've just been using like my main team to clear all this out. Just Megatron is heavy spam, but it shouldn't be that bad. Um, let's see, 200 attack boost. Okay, yeah, should be fine. But no, um, Revenge of the King, I did split it up into three days and it wasn't that bad, you know, taking my time on some of the fights. The first day it was, Primal, it was Dinobot, Ramjet, and Shockwave. The only fight that I think uh, kind of sucked for me was the Primal fight because it took so long and Megatronus, I don't know, like the fight towards the end of it, I had Primal down to like 30 or 20% and the fight lasted so long that my game started lagging so I just ended up pausing it, waiting a little bit, jumping back in, finishing, fin uh, finishing it off and then you know it was fine but still it took like I don't know, like 15 minutes maybe? Like, I don't know, maybe a little bit less, but if I had someone like Megatron, uh, you know, Tactician Megs, he'd freaking wreck them in like under three minutes probably. Uh, and then after that, Dinobot was pretty easy. Ramjet with Mirage. I was supposed to use Megatronus for that one, but I ended up using Mirage and it was a fun fight, honestly. I like, like using Mirage. He wasn't fully forged. But he still, you know, he still worked, he still did the trick, and he beat up good old Ramjet, and then Shockwave, he wasn't bad either. <clears throat> I think Prowl took care of that. I did eat some damage, but it wasn't too bad. And then keeping Shockwave, of course, power controlled, trying not to let him get any power bars for his signature to trigger and extend, like, the duration of the fight. Uh, I think that was really good. So he did, he did some work there for us. And then, what was it, day two? What did we end up fighting? We fought the Prowl. Yeah, we fought Prowl, and then... Oh man, I'm like blinking out right now. Oh, it was Megatron. All right, so it was Prowl, it was Megatron, it was Kickback, and it was Waspinator, right? Yeah, and those four. So the Prowl fight, surprisingly, somehow, I have no idea, but I got a perfect on that one, and I thought about it right before I went into the fight. I was like, you know what? Fighting against this Prowl that's on power charge, it's not gonna go well if I'm just gonna try like, you know, sitting in the back, waiting for like the timers, you know, the little timer or whatever to go down. Um, it's gonna be like a super long fight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle it like head on, you know, go ham 24 seven. And that's basically what I did with Drift. And surprisingly it worked out. And it's super easy to dodge his special twos, like once you're in the zone. I blocked a few of them, but it surprisingly, we did not get tagged. And I thought I had jinxed myself because in my prep video, I was like, yeah, I'm probably expecting to get to eat a bunch of those, uh, those special twos, but no, it was fine. It was easy and it was awesome. Drift is, Drift is an amazing character. And then the Megatron fight, I went on autopilot, my brain, I just set it to autopilot using Megatronus. And I, I don't know, man, I was getting tagged a whole bunch on that fight, but it was fine. We, we beat him and then kick back, drift again, pretty much would have almost gotten a perfect, but we ended up getting tagged, I think by like two or three hits. And yeah, other than that, it was like super easy fight. 
and the waspinator fight okay that one i was very worried about uh going into it just because you know i didn't know exactly like how much damage he would do to like my rank 5 characters so i ended up going with mirage and i think i dropped him down to like 50 percent and i ended up eating like i don't know i feel like my shield got popped at some point and then i don't know i just ate too much damage from like his special one or his range attacks and he just ended up killing me like super fast but i did drop him down to like 50 percent and finished it off with megatronus and that fight with megatronus went really well what i did notice though was waspinator um i had the relic of obedience when i took him down and he still healed up a whole bunch i know in previous times like in previous like the previous alliance mission map <clears throat> the waspinator that was the second mini boss if i had relic of obedience when fighting him and i killed him he wouldn't heal at all so i don't know that part kind of tricked me out a little bit i was like wait he shouldn't be healing but regardless you know it's fine we killed him then day three what was day three what is this range timed okay let's go with mirage for this one <clears throat> And then day three, it was Rhinox. Of course, kickback made super, super quick work of that one. Uh, not quick work, you know, he's only a rank four uh, character, rank four five star, but he still did the trick. He did really well. And we, you know, purified the shocks, we healed up, we inflicted a ton of bleeds and shocks on Rhinox. So he used a super, super safe pick if anyone is considering, you know, doing Revenge of the King. Rhinox, he can be. He can be a bit of a pain, man, if you don't have anyone to negate the shocks or, you know, heal up or, you know, anything else. Um, uh oh, I'm getting tagged, but thankfully the shield is up, so we are fine. <clears throat> but yeah, kickback, pretty much a uh, safe, safe passage through Rhinox, basically, is what, uh, is what he is. In the Windblade fight, it was pretty easy. And then, what was next? Oh, Blaster. Okay, man. <laughs> stupid blast man i was i was feeling so good i was like you know what i still have four characters uh they're all pretty healthy um there's only two fights left grimlock i'm not even worried about that one's gonna be really really easy but blaster man blaster so i was i was fighting him initially with kickback and it was going pretty well and then i ended up getting tagged i died but i think i dropped him like 25 percent hp so i was like oh you know not bad good fight and then i went in with prowl and so here's the thing with Blaster, uh, the fact that he can get, that he, basically he gets those amp charges which scales up, you know, the amount of damage that he does with his specials and his range attacks. <laughs> My initial plan with Prowl was never even let him get a special one and I failed miserably at that because I think at one point um, I dashed back and I kept getting like a huge boost of power and I tried going for a special but it was like a special two and it failed and then i ended up eating like a special or something from blaster and it was over and then drift did some pretty good work but he got taken down megatronus as well oh my god i i don't know if you guys saw that but i literally almost like got one shot by him survived a little bit and then i ended up having to revive prowl to finish off blaster and then of course the grimlock fight was super super easy and yeah that was basically it i mean i'm still a little bit disappointed that i had a revive on blaster we still didn't use any energon but i don't know man i feel like a part of me like kind of attributes you know using a revive as using energon so i don't know i feel like i'm gonna have to go back another day maybe next year you know we'll go through it again and we'll we'll finish off everything without even having a revive then you know i'll feel i'll feel content <laughs> but uh yeah, overall it wasn't that bad, but you know, compared to when I ran it last year, this year, I mean, it was super easy. Of course, rank five fully forged five star characters will make just about anything a breeze in this game. And yeah, if anyone is considering uh, running it, like I said, I would suggest waiting until you have like the proper roster built up and it'll just be super easy. That way you don't end up spending like over a hundred dollars on Energon. Um, yeah, you know. Compton is there to stay as long as the game is uh, is still, you know, up and running. But yeah, overall not bad. Maybe uh, if we do end up uh, 
uh, running it again, I'll just end up switching out some characters, but I think that team did really well. And that is going to be it for this mission. Master fully complete. Give me those rewards, man. I love this tier 4. There we go. Got another one formed. I haven't ranked up anything in a while, and I've been doing alliance missions, you know, of course, this whole month. So I wonder how many I have now. Could probably rank up another character up to rank 5. But uh, we'll see. We'll wait till next week, though, to see what Kabam announces. How many am I at? Let's go ahead and check really quick. We're sitting at uh, five. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I thought I only had like three or four of them, but no, this is good. All right, let's go ahead and claim this, guys. We're just gonna pop open those crystals, and we'll see if we get maybe a five star. I doubt it, but we'll see. Bunch of three stars, though. That's what I'm expecting. Come on, luck, luck, luck. <gasps> Shut up. Are you serious? That is so stupid. <laughs> a five star. Mega, he's a featured, right? I think he's a featured. That is so dumb. But seriously, I should not have gotten that. All right, whatever, man. Still not. <laughs> okay, I will. I will take it. You know, I'm not gonna complain about that. We will take it, and yeah, I don't know. I might try doing some of these then just to be able to get this thing. But do I really want to? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Hopefully you guys have a good start to your week tomorrow on Monday. And then whenever Kabam announces whatever, you know, Wednesday for the upcoming month, you know, we'll, we'll do a video on that. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys later.